Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's giving me Pixar vibes. Anyway, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Azungu and I am trying Planet Coaster for the first time. So I poked around a little bit before I started and it looks like I have to create myself an avatar. So let's pick out a facial structure. Let me disable the beard so I can see exactly what my face looks like. I do have kind of a chiseled jawline, <clears throat> kind of that Sigma look. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go with that, give myself that nice little frill of hair, put the beard back and uh, no glasses. I like to see my beady little eyes. Yeah, look at those horribly beady eyes. <laughs> And then for clothes, I think I want this, uh, yeah, I kind of like the vest with the sweater. That looks nice. Blue is kind of the color I would go for already, so that's exactly where I want it. Now for my trousers, or my pants, so depending on which part of the world you're from. Let's go baggy and change the color to, I don't see an obvious brown color, but gray is too basic, so let's go with a muted maroon color. There we go. Very nice. And for hats. Oh. oh yeah, accept. And I'm gone, where'd I go? Oh, I'm floating over the world. Do I have to pick my place? Well, I live in the Pacific Northwest, so I'm gonna drop myself, boom, right there. Ghostbusters content pack, no! No, no DLCs right now. I'm just getting started here, don't wanna uh, spend all my money before I even know what I'm doing? Right then. I have no idea what I'm looking at. Uh, of all these little things, ah, play. This is, I think, what I want. Now we want to go to, is this career mode? Embark on a career in the theme park management complete, varied, increasing the challenging scenarios and see how far you can go. I had an idea before I started recording, is I would like to actually hold off on career and I'm going to start in sandbox mode. So this is going to be a kind of a place to kind of learn what I'm doing and create my, create as, what, I can do as close to my dream park as I can without having a clue what I'm doing. So once I've done that and publish a video on that, then I will go to career mode, learn everything about the game, go through all the scenarios, and when I've finished that, I will go back to sandbox mode and play again and see how far I've come. So let's begin. Oh, this is cool. Really cool. Is this a grassland or is that a savanna? It looks like a... Ooh, deciduous. Let's start with the deciduous forest. Park name. My first time playing. Planet Coaster. I'm out of room. Planet Co. <laughs> okay. First time playing Planet Coaster. Coasty. Darn. Fine. First time, baby. Oh, yeah. I love the music in this game. All right, basic controls. I'm going to leave those on. It looks like I get around with right click and with the center mouse button. Okay, but it looks like holding down right click and shifting is inverted from what I'm used to from Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So this is gonna be a bit of a learning curve. So we have this beautiful space to work, lots of flat area. I'm not really concerned about uh, terrain being too difficult to work with. Already this, uh, this panning system is throwing me off, so let's zoom in. Show more controls, zoom camera, rotate camera, undo, control Z, radio, control Y. Oh, we get, oh, look at that. Undo and redo in this game. That's a cool, a cool addition compared to the earlier Roller Coaster Tycoon bit, uh, games. Show, hide, help, F1, save, park, menu, aha. Simulation speed is O, so I can fast forward. Oh, it's down here, I see it. I can also click it. Pause simulation is P for pause. Free look camera is T. So if I press T, what does that do? I don't see anything changing. Okay, whatever. Um, okay, I think I have the basics down. So let's close the menu and get started. Let's open my path menu. I'm not really used to the layout because this is my first time playing. Here's paths. So this looks like this kind of nice uh, dark red path and I can Aha. I see what we're doing here. Cool. Why do I have this one selected? Eh, delete that. No, 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 no. Give me the red path. Let's create a roundabout here in the beginning of the park. 
It's not going to be a perfect circle because I'm eyeballing this. <laughs> We're going to do our best. It looks like it's going to be more of an oval than a circle, but that's all right. Oh, what is that? What is that intersection? Give me a break. Let's try this again. No? Okay, if I close this... No! Okay. Problems. So perhaps if I come off of this one... Let me see. Ugh. Let me over. Yeah, it looks like this junction's going to be a little janky, but uh, we'll just have to deal with that, I suppose. Or, I delete this one, and adjust it to look the same. Delete this one. There we go. Now it's consistent, at least. Cool! So now we have our central hub roundabout area. So let's close the path editor and look at rides. Now, as this is the central hub, I want to put shops and the like in here. So the rides will go kind of on the outskirts. So I see this is called the Claw of Doom in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, but here it's called the Forge? Whatever it is, it looks absolutely amazing. I think there are preset uh, scenery looks that it can come with, but I don't actually know how to activate those. What is this? Gentle rides, throw rides, uh, blueprint? Aha. Uh, no, never mind. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's just place this because I am so lost. But this, I'm so excited about this. This looks amazing, despite having no idea what I'm doing. Let's put it maybe out here. Place the entrance. Let's place the entrance off on the side and the exit facing inward where the path will be. Wonderful. Now let's extend our paths to reach it. Let's switch to a flagstone path. Coming off at a diagonal here, and then straightening like this. And then this needs to connect here. There we go, so that's connected. Let me over. And we'll continue this path straight like so. If I hold shift, that doesn't do anything. Um, enter doesn't do anything. Good to know. So let's loop this into a big oval. Or rather a rather a rectangle with rounded edges, I should say. It ain't gonna be perfect, but we can always go back and make revisions if necessary. And again, it's not perfect, so let's delete this and see if we can make a few revisions to make this look a little more consistent. Not quite, although it's a little bit off. Delete that. Eh, close enough. All right, now for a queue path. That's this one, I think. Simple bricked queue, square cobblestone. I think cobblestone would look good with the flagstone, so let's grab the cobblestone. There we go, a nice, simple queue line. Wonderful, so to close that, now we can open the menu here, and right now the prestige is very low. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of stuff here. Uh, let's test it. Excitement is good, fear is really high, and nausea is also really high. Not surprising on a ride like this. Uh, I think we can actually improve the prestige score by adding decorations. So, let's look at scenery. Rocks and can this menu get any bigger? Oh yeah, look at that. Why do we have Christmas ornaments? Okay, I think I have a feeling I'm going to be completely overwhelmed by the sheer volume of stuff I have to work with. A ridiculous amount of stuff. Let's try to go into categories. Favorites? I have no favorites. I have to set some. Recent path extras? Oh, cool. Okay, so we did choose a deciduous forest, so I think having a rustic water bin could be cool. 
Wait, why is that in the- Huh? No, 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 no. Come back. Why is that in the middle of the path? How do I delete it? Uh... Yes, replace it. No? Aha! I like how we get a bulldozer icon for deleting instead of just a garbage can icon. That's cool. Uh, I crashed into the ground. Oh, look at all the people trying to come in who can't come in, because I forgot to open my park, didn't I? Is it open? Oh, wait, no, it is open. People have just been turning around because there was nothing worth entering the park for. But now we have a ride, a single claw machine, or a forge, as it's called. And it's open and ready to ride. Let's see, special effects. What are these, fireworks? Cool. Nature, props. Can I further narrow these props down by categories? I want rustic, uh, wildland type stuff. A stew pot? Okay. Oh, here we go. Wooden barrel. What is this, a witch house? If I rotate this... Which end is the front? There we go. Let me over! Ugh! You can put that right here. Cool. And a uh, witch tree. Okay, and then we'll cover this all up with regular trees. So this is a deciduous forest, not a conifer forest. So we have uh, trees with leaves that fall in the fall. Uh, that was a plain words if I ever heard one. <laughs> let's go with regular oak trees, or actually it's fall in the world. So let's go with fall colors, beautiful fall colors. I think I was supposed to, no, no, come back. I think I'm supposed to delete these every time I place one try to keep them all distinct and individual but these are detailed enough that it doesn't look like they're all facing the same direction so that's good red emperor maple hello can we place this here or is it too tight Ugh, let me in wait a minute wait a minute let me over why is that in the air <laughs> We'll have to go back and delete that one. Okay. Okay. I'm used to pressing right click on everything I place to, uh, hold on, close scenery. I'm used to pressing right click to delete stuff, but when I press right click, it just, uh, shuts down whatever mode I was in editing stuff. So get rid of that silly floating tree. What is the prestige score now? Okay, people look happy. Oh, uh, where'd the prestige score go? Oh, here it is. It hasn't improved much, although I think it has to go through a full ride cycle before it updates. I did watch a brief tutorial on Planet Coaster just to have a vague idea of what I was going to do, so I'm not just completely clueless in here. I don't want to bore you to death watching me figure everything out. It's bad enough how much I'm trying to figure out as it is. Oh, look at all these preset buildings! My understanding is I can design my own buildings and build them up uh, piece by piece, but that might be kind of a waste of time here. Or actually, let me know in the comments if you want to see me spend uh, significant amounts of time doing that. I could also add my own buildings, I think, if I have custom buildings. Oh yeah, I got all the parts to do it here. So let's stick with the blueprints for now. Let's see, large building, small building. Let's go with everything. I want something that wouldn't be out of place in a forest. Sci-fi shop? Nope. Reveria building? Definitely nope. Pirate Vila? Oh, this is huge. Goodness. So where's... which end of the front? If I spin it... Oh, it's already facing forward. Okay. So... We could place this over here by the entrance. <laughs> there we go. Not quite straight, but it's close enough. Then flank it across the other side with this one. If I can see what I'm doing here. Are these too close to the path? I think they're too close. So let's push that one there. Move this one over. There we go. So you walk in the shadow of the buildings. Although this one needs to be rotated, I think. There we go. Now it's parallel with the path. 
Okay, we have one ride. We have scenery. We have some buildings. We need shops and facilities, I think. So let's go with food shops. Oh, I love the preset designs. Chief beef store? Uh, fairy tale to Aha! This is what I want. In this forest. I think I want this to be here, facing this path. And we'll have the path squeeze under this tree to, uh, to wrap around over here to access that area. So, open this, assuming it's not already open. Is it open? Total objects. Uh, Monsieur Frida's. Okay, that's already open. That's good to know. Okay, I think they're all open by default. Then we have a fairy tale village gift shop, so let's place that on the other side of the path. Or does it have does it face multiple directions? Oh, it faces multiple directions. So we'll put this, I guess, in the middle of everything. Uh yeah, put that there. And now, if I grab my paths, this button. Can I not have thicker paths? How do I make thicker paths? Oh, here we go. Malformed path something part. <laughs> okay, interesting little pop-up. Let's go with eight meters. It's not gonna let me, never mind. So back to the default. Did that even do it? Did that connect to it? I can't tell if that connected to it. I think it did. Okay, that kind of works, I suppose. Right then. There's a lot of little controls. It's a little overwhelming just how many controls there are. I mean, it's good to have a lot of control, but for a first time player, it is kind of a lot. So that's why we're here doing this sandbox mode so I can kind of dink around and figure out what the heck I'm doing before we switch over to career mode. Although career mode would probably walk me through it anyway, so we're probably fine. A soft purple path with repeating pattern. Okay. That looks like water. Let's go back to the flagstone path and extend out here, squeeze through the tree and the building. And walk around the back of these trees. It looks like I have to build it bit by bit. I don't see a way to build in smaller or faster, or not smaller, bigger or faster chunks. I'm sure there is, I just don't know what I'm doing. Or that could just be a limitation of Planet Coaster because I've been following the uh, progress of Planet Coaster 2, which is part of what lit a fire and I'm about to actually start making these Planet Coaster 1 videos because I don't want to... I, I, I wanted to do Planet Coaster, but if I have to do it right after 2 comes out, <laughs> people aren't going to want to watch that. Uh, but anyway... Oh, that path looks silly. Oops. Uh, what I'm trying to say, though, is... Uh, I did see people comment that the path system is one of the faults of... Planet Coaster 1. Despite being such an incredible game as it stands, it's one of the few issues that people don't like about it. But we're making the best of it. This path isn't horrible. If anything, it's more organic looking as opposed to all a bunch of rigid right angles. So I think it's time, it's high time we build more rides. So we have a thrill ride. Let's build a gentle ride. The Cheroplane? No, no, no. I thought that was the merry-go-round. Here's the merry-go-round. Let's place that front and center. Right here. I'll place the exit on the side and the eggs or the entrance on the side and place the exit right there. Wonderful. Now for paths, queue lines. And what is this? Stone slab queue? Let's get the bricked path. There we go. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, close that. Let's see. Is this open yet? It is not open. Now it's open. Prestige is zilch. I don't even know how to fix that. <laughs> I just know that you have to add scenery and stuff, but... Uh... Right. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's get more rides, and then we'll think about scenery. More thrill rides. We have the 360 power. Ooh! This looks like fun. 
Let's place it right there. Although, judging on where the stairs are, I think I want to actually move it. So let's uh, shift it. We'll turn it. There we go. Let's get a better angle on this. Oh yeah, this looks good. So right there. And the entrance can go on the back. And the exit can go on the front. Or the inverse of those. I guess this is the front, isn't it? Based on where the entrance of the park is. But anyway. Q line. Black Q path? Oh, I can actually change what the pad looks like. That's cool. I love all the little... Uh, all the control it gives you. Obstructed my foot. Why? How is that obstructed? No. Come out. No! Let me over. There it goes. Does that look a little silly to you? It looks a little silly to me, so I'm gonna redo that. Let's delete those and try this again. Whoops. Maybe if I keep this straighter, then wrap inside, come back like this. Here we go. That looks a little better. Wonderful. Alrighty, close this. Now, did I open this? I did not open this, so now it's open. Cool. Alright, my very first Planet Coaster Park is coming together. Rather humble park. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> close that. Let's build a roller coaster. I've been really excited to try out the, uh, the roller coaster system in this game. I build most of my roller coasters myself in, in a Roller Coaster Tycoon, so I'd like to try that here. Let's see, what are the options? Look how detailed these are. Launched drive type F25? Boomerang, boomerang, crazy one Looney Tunes or turns? I don't even know. Uh, right, wooden. The wooden roller coaster is my favorite roller coaster in real life. Let me see, where do I want this? I say it's my favorite not only because of the way it looks, but because of the way it feels to ride. I'm all for that out of control, OMG I'm gonna die feeling you get from the Woody. <laughs> Always, I just absolutely love it. Okay, let's place it. Let's kind of fill in this spot on the front of the park with it. Whoops. Fill in the skyline so guests can see it from far. There we go. Now if I, geez, so there's different slopes. Like, let's go 45 degree slope. Pretty steep lift hill. Is this the uh, chain lift? Yep. Now do I click it? Oh yeah, look at that. So we get a very steep lift hill. And how tall is this? How do I turn on height marks? Height markers on Relative to sea level or relative to the ground? I think ground relative. Oh, that's great! So, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3 always just give you the true elevation, and they don't give you the elevation relative to the ground, so you have to be a little math savvy to determine how tall your roller coaster is while you build it. But here, it gives you the option, so that's really cool. Alright, let's dive. Let's, uh, no, don't, don't dive. Wait, no, put the back. Turn this off. Standard track. Here we go. I think I use this to... Hey! How do I drag this down? I'm clicking and dragging, which is not working. Non-inverted, utilities, station, uh... Standard track. I want to go down. And I am having a hard time figuring out how that works. Oh, here we go. I had to hold that. Is that straight vertical? What? Holy, that's a little excessive. So let's delete that. Make that maybe 67 degree drop. There we go. Oh, it automatically flattened out for us. That's cool. But that's a little abrupt. So let's make this a little, a little more gradual. 
Oh yeah, look at that beautiful slope. Okay, let's go up and also turn. Let's bank this to 67 degrees and turn. Oh, this track design system is ingenious. It takes some getting used to, whoops. It takes, let's actually start the slope a little more gentle. Let's start this, or not the slope, the bank. Let's start at 22 degrees. And then as it starts to turn, then we switch to 45 degrees. Oh yeah, now that's something I can get behind. And it's already turning around, interesting. So let's make this a little wider. Make that a little steeper. Or no, actually make it less steep. Let's get back to this. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Cool. I am absolutely in love with this now. So flatten out right at the crest of this hill. And straighten out and drop again. Big drop. Uh-oh. It's not going to let me do that, is it? How do I convince it to go to the ground? Oh, there we go. I just had to drag it. <laughs> oh, and it gives me a little valley at the bottom. That's so cool. I'm in love with this game. This is sweet. Let's have a gentler hill here. 45 degrees. Flatten right out to zero. I'm not sure how efficient the uh, energy cons uh, conservation is on these. Because I know there's friction on the train as it progresses through the track. So the first hill is 36 meters tall. The next one is 27 meters, so we chopped 9 meters off. Or if you're Imperial, if you're in the United States, that's a 9 times 3. About a 27 foot difference, I think? That can't be right, can it? These are too close. This is 9 meters. A meter is slightly bigger than a yard, and a yard is 3 feet. So, yeah, 9 meters, that's roughly 27 foot difference. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I can have this testing in the background while I'm designing it, like the little ghost test mode thing. Oh, this little tooltip here, I think I didn't need that. Uh, how do I, no, I'm not done. How do I tell it to test? I don't see an obvious button. There probably is a, whoa, there probably is a way to do it. I just don't know what it is. Am I in free lick mode? Is that why this keeps happening? Oh yeah, I was in free lick. <laughs> Whoops, this is better. A little bit better, I think. Okay, roller coaster, let's do this. So we have this gradual slope to level. Now let's make it steep again. And now, transition to 45 degrees while it starts to turn. Oh yeah. Now, non-inverted, we get helixes. Not that. That's a rather tight helix, isn't it? I want a wide helix. That's not exactly wide, is it? Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> that is way outside of the scale that we're working. That's huge. Okay. Helix up. It's not particularly big. I wonder if I can... No, no, no. Oh! I can make it wider? Or, not really. Just make it tighter. Right. Uh, okay. So, build that. Let's flatten this out. And I think I actually wanted this to be banked more. So, let's delete the... Delete this. Keep that at 45 degrees. What were those track pieces I had? Helix up right. I guess it reduces the amount of of a uh, roll. Now uh, non-inverted helix down or helix down left. Nope. That would have been cool if I had a uh, if I had room to do that. So instead, let's delete. Or no, put it back. music in this game is so beautiful. 
let's flatten out the roll here. And am I going to collide if I do this? Nope. And for some reason, it's trying to take me somewhere else. So keep that straight. Oh, that's why it was on a collision course. I get it. Okay, well, in that case, delete. Oh, this camera is complicated. Let me go. Ugh. Okay, what are we doing here? I do want it to kind of wrap around the hill somewhat. But I think I want this to be wider to pull that off. No, 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 no. Delete that. So, non-inverted. What I want to do is down left, but we're too close to this hill to pull that off. So I think a way we could fix that is if I make this helix a little bit tighter. So let's pull it back. And, uh, whoops. You make it a little bit tighter. Can I make it taller? Doesn't look like it. Let's put that there. And then helix down left. Oh, yeah. Can I make it bigger? No, 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 come back. What happened? Oh, I think I did have that piece there. Uh, straight piece. Can I level this out? And then do it? Or does that not work? If I click this. Non-inverted. Okay, yeah, that doesn't work. I have to keep it going up. Okay, fine. So, up you go, the way it was before, and then, now we can finally have this little helix in place. So, level out, or rather, flatten out? What are we doing here? Oh, I see. So, let's bank this a little more, to 45 degrees, and now... Have a wide sweeping turn. Here we go. Now here, we will go up? No, 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 come here actually. Let's make this a little bit wider and then unbank this while simultaneously going up. I love that you can do multiple different changes in direction on a single piece. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, you can really only change a few things per track piece. But not only are we changing bankment, or the, uh, what do you call this, the attitude? Now the attitude is how steep up and down you're going. We can change the roll, the pitch, and the yaw all in one piece. So that's really impressive. Whoa, why is that so steep? Take it easy there, buckaroo. So flatten out. Let's start turning a little bit. And now drop. While dropping, turn a little bit like this and go that way. This game, I believe, is something that I could really learn to like. This is cool on so many levels. I'm sad that I never really played it before. I always saw the price tag and I was like, eh, I enjoy Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, let me stick with what I know. I think having a YouTube channel with all of you, you guys have been asking for so long that I tried this game, is the re I have you to thank for this. So I finally got the nerve to finally pull the trigger and buy this. And I have to say, this is really cool. So I think now we want to return to the station, so let's level out and yeah, level out. Oh, that's going to be an intense piece of track. Look at that. All right, let's place, let's slope to level there. Now we need brakes. So friction brakes, trim brakes. Uh, no, we want friction brakes. Slow the trains down. And I think I get individual controls for this piece, right? How do I tell it how much I want it to slow down? Uh... Okay, I'll just do that, whatever. <laughs> and now, turn around. Or no, uh, basic. No, don't roll. Turn. A 90 degree turn. And autocomplete, so we get a nice little S-bend there. I think I want this to be tire drive, so it pushes the trains into the station. So let's not do that. Let's actually, uh, 
First of all, stay level. What the heck? I think it just automatically did this, didn't it? And it sounds like the neighbor has decided that this is the best moment to mow their lawn. Gosh darn it. So if you hear some lawn mowing going on in the background, that's that's the reason. <laughs> okay, maybe the brakes won't slow us down so much that we won't finish, but I'm just learning how this works. I don't even have more than one train. Uh, well, I would like to have multiple trains, so let's delete these pieces. No, 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 keep that there. No! This piece, here we go. Yeah, delete these. I think this needs to be a little wider, so if I recall this... Now I think it was fine the way it was. Well, roll, turn... Flatten out. Let's actually drop it here. There we go. Now straighten out. Do I have more room or am I exactly where I started? Let's keep it wide just for the moment. Put that there. Am I leveling out? It looks like it. And now we can uh, do this. Or should I have a brake run here? Friction brakes. Ah, oh, but I'm going away from the station though. Or no, what I should do is have this keep going as it's going. Roll it and bring it in. Except I think I overshot it. So delete this, make this a little tighter. And now we're not lined up, are we? This is complicated. How I'm like not even misaligned by one tile. There's like sub tiles, or I guess this game doesn't really follow a tile system, but whatever the case is, I am not aligned with the station at all. So let's make, whoops, make this a uh, straight. I guess we can make this a brake run. Friction brakes. And now basic track. Turn this around, and I think we're aligned. Almost. Why is it suddenly going up? Hey! No, 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 you don't. You stay level. Let's have drive tires ushering it along. Uh, build. They were slightly misaligned, so if I do that, hopefully that will do it for us without stalling. Except we don't have block bricks anywhere, so perhaps if I delete this, if I build backwards, then I could put the block brick here. So a block section right there. Then delete this. Delete. Let me, let me see. Ugh. Delete this and delete this. No, 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 no. Not autocomplete. Let's have a tire section. Oh, it is a tire section, but it's automatically snapping to it. That's amazing. All right, so that's wonderful. Let's do it. And I think that's this roller coaster completed. So now if I click on done, now I get all these little options. Let me see, edit track, select ride and sequence parts, uh, ride camera so I can ride it. How do I tell it? Let's see, operations, number of cars, number of trains. I only get one for some reason. Do I have to toggle block section mode? Would that be under ride operations? Triggers, uh, trigger items, trigger points. Yeah, there are so many little things, so many little details that I'm just completely overwhelmed. Let's see. Uh, no, this looks to not be what I need to do. Looney Bloons has been empty for a while. Hire vendors? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> okay, let's hire the... Let's hire... Uh, huh, so we got a bunch of mascots. Then we have security, a vendor. Ah, so she's who we need to hire. Yeah, don't disable the hints. How do I put her inside? 
Puh. <laughs> so I guess these people will walk around restocking our shops. Is my guess. Uh, how do I hire more? Okay, I right-click to close that. Park management. Let's see. Mechanics to fix our stuff. Let's have several. There's no money in, uh, you see, unlimited funds. No money in, oh, there's litter everywhere. As I said, no money in sand, uh, sandbox mode. So this is my place in space that rhymes, uh, not on purpose. My place in space to figure out what the heck, whoops, to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Janitor, right there. Clean up that mess. I want to see how he cleans it. What, what does the animation look like? Let me see. Look at this hard-working man. This is the kind of work I can have respect for. And I do that sort of thing on my job, in real life. Anyway, not vomit specifically. It's not, usually not, hopefully not. Anyway, how do I, how do I tell this silly roller coaster to have multiple trains? I have a block section here. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I want to ride this. So let's test it and hop aboard. So we get a cinematic view, then interest, points of interest, and then seats. I want to ride the seat. I want to see how smooth this looks compared to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. So far, it's very smooth, very detailed. Can I look around? Oh yeah, if I hold the middle mouse button, I can look around. Cool. Sweet, and it automatically takes me to facing forward. That's good, because in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, if you try to look around, your camera stays where you left it, and then if you want to get back to the default spot, you're kind of out of luck. You have to take your best guess. Woohoo! This is so smooth compared to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Oh, I love this. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, baby. And I love the gradual transition to banked uh, track pieces. It's not so abrupt and jarring as it is in Roller Coaster Type 1 and 2. Oh yeah. And friction brakes. Still a little fast, a little hot going into that uh, turn. Okay then, well that's that. I think that's good. So if we look at the stats we come up with. Testing. Excitement is pretty high. And the fear and the nausea are within... Well, they're not terrible, so that's good. Sweet. All right, let's build the entrance and the exit. How do I... Ah, here we go. Place the entrance. Let's place it in the middle, I guess. And the exit right there. For paths, let's grab... What should I use? Uh, A block path marked with the logo? Okay. Standard asphalt. Wooden piece with matching railings. So here's uh, boards that are parallel with the path, and these are boards perpendicular to the path. Oh, isn't that neat? Isn't that neat? I think, was I in free luck this whole time? Yeah, I keep... Uh, these controls are weird. I keep pressing T, the hotkey, to get this... to figure out how this works, but... <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, shells a small square. Let me see. Rustic gravel path with wooden trim. Let's just do the flagstone to match with everything, so bring this down, connect to the path, and now the queue line. A gray queue path? Simple bricked path. I kind of like that one. So bring me down to the ground. Now don't finish it. Let's see. If you go to an actual theme park, you'll see that the paths tend to kind of do this, whoops, kind of tend to do this zigzag thing and be very long. And it looks like I can't sneak through here without accidentally connecting, so whatever, we'll just call it there. All right then, so close this. Let's open the roller coaster. Oh, let me over. <sighs> open the roller coaster. Boom. Our first custom roller coaster and planet coaster. And it doesn't look half bad. 
It does look a little cluttered in this spot and empty in this spot, but it's all right overall. I think if we, uh, oh, hey, look at that. We got some awards. I think if we build some uh, scenery or buildings in this middle section, that could really fix that. And what is going on with the shadows? Look at this little graphics thing. We have very crisp shadows and then blurry shadows following like a diamond shaped right angle. What? Huh? What is going on? Maybe that's where the level of detail adjusts. This transition needs to be more gradual, I think. How do I fix that? Uh, graphics. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Gamma? I'm going to guess that turns up the brightness. That might turn it up too much. Yikes. Let's turn that down. <laughs> okay. I know that YouTube doesn't play nice with dark videos, so making it a little brighter can help, just not too bright. Now nah, that's too bright. Okay, changing it back. Maybe the default was where we should leave that. Okay, settings, uh, refresh rate, all this looks good, all this looks good. Preset is custom. That's because I changed some of these to be ultra and high. Multi-sample quantity or quality, don't want to kill my computer, so I'm going to leave that on ultra not, or not ultra, leave that on this one. Uh, da -da -da -da. Lens flare, geometric detail, I maximized that one. Shadows, very high, that might be it. Oh yeah, that was it, that was the problem. There we go. So now this funky level of detail adjustment comes into play if I zoom out really far. Never mind, it's still applying right there, whatever. I just won't pay too close attention to that. That's annoying. Anyway, are anyone going to come over here and ride this? Or do I have to build more rides to attract people? The prestige is good, but not super good. I think what we should do now is decorate this. So scenery, let's go to uh, display sequences, sequencers and tools. Oh, I don't even know how those work. Screens? Nope. Audio, special effects, cameras, art shapes. Okay, props, here we go, props. And we get subcategories, so we get animatronics, lights, statues, and centerpieces, archways. Let's go with archways and play some archways over different parts of the, of the track. So maybe one at the valley of this drop. What is this? Canvas wagon archway? Airlock, stone, what would make sense in, a, in a, a forest? Let me over. It doesn't look like it's going to let me place that there unless maybe I rotate it. Okay, I can rotate it and I can build it up. But it's not going to let me snap it to the path itself, is it? I think I can change that in my settings. But I'm afraid that if I do that, I'll just break too many things. And uh, yeah, in here, I think it's in here. Uh... S disable scenery collision. So if I do that and close this, now I can... Okay, that still doesn't work. Maybe there's another setting. Uh, settings. Disable coaster collision, ride collision, terrain collision. So if I do that, I should be able to... No! It's still not letting me. How do I... Hey, how do I do that? Okay, so it's none of these. Let's switch those back to the defaults. Uh... Da -da -da -da. I don't know how. I don't know how. I'll have to play with that in my own time, off camera. But I can't make this, make the roller coaster go through this little archway, can I? So if I build one there that's floating, then maybe I could build up scenery on the sides around it. So let's see. Uh, props, nature. I got like a rock or something that this could be resting on. Oh, well now it, huh? That can't be good. I wonder if that'll have a collision if I leave that there. <laughs> uh, right. I could have sworn I disabled those, didn't I? Uh, da, 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 disable. Were these unchecked before? Or maybe I hit, I hit cancel or hit OK or something. Yes, yeah, so a resume. Yeah, now I can't do that. So that's the way it should be. Because I think I would kind of break the game. So this isn't tall enough to look like it's floating on it. So let's delete this. That's too small. This looks like the biggest one. So let's raise this up. 
Is it floating, though? I can't see. Ugh. If it's floating, I can't tell. It looks like... Oh, it's embedded in the ground. Okay. So I do have the luxury of raising it up a little bit. So let's get a closer look. And this isn't centered. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let's move this so it's centered and raise it up. There we go. Now it's centered. Now build another one of these. How do I duplicate? There we go. That's cool. Such a little fast control to do that. And raise it up so it's sitting on it. And it's still embedded in the ground. That's what I like to see. So now we have this funky fantasy archway that the train can go through. Uh, placement controls. I should probably read this. Basic controls. No, no, no. Oh, so it changes. Disable all hints. Position objects with a cursor before placing them in the park, obviously. Use the keyboard to activate rotation and height controls. Okay, so I know that Z lets you rotate it. Shift lets you lower it. Advanced mode X? What does that do? Oh, I see. This looks like what this looks like Blender or any of those 3D editors. Neat. Uh, anyway, close that. Now let's add some foliage and maybe some buildings like a witch shack or something. Let's see, we have a castle passage? Oh, the castle actually has an archway in it too. So perhaps I could put that... Nah, I did all this work for this one spot, so uh, no castle. Let's see. Large buildings, and I don't see any subsets. Festive house? It's a gingerbread house. Uh, right. Anything rustic that you might find in a forest. Downtown docks building? This is cool. I'll have to add, like, a pond or something next to it, though. So if I rotate it... And set it in the ground. Slightly. So now we have that. Now how do I edit the terrain? Uh, let's see. Terrain. Here we go. Yes. And I think I can change the diameter of this. How do I apply brush? Put brush intensity is minus or equal. Brush size or what is... That's not helping me much. Oh, here we go. Let's go with the size. Make it bigger. Reduce the intensity so I don't go get too carried away here. So it kind of works like Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, it looks like, just a little slower, which is how it should have been in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, because Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is so abrupt that it kind of, uh, well, you make a lot of mistakes faster than you have a chance to realize, and then you can't really fix them much. Let's turn the size down, turn the intensity up. Here we go. Make a big pit in the ground here. Oh, and look at that! The scenery automatically adjusted, so as it got steeper, we started to reveal the rock and dirt underneath to be more realistic to how grass doesn't just cling to a cliff face. That is really cool! So now we can change this. Let's switch to maybe some... Okay, this is too big. Change the size down. <laughs> Five meters? That probably works. I want something muddy. Auto paint is on now. Do I have mud? Doesn't seem like I have a whole lot of options here. Let's go with rock for the base of this pond. Because if you look at most lake bottoms, they're full of gravel for the most part. Gravel and weeds and lots of algae. Okie dokie. Now for water, do I just click the edge? Oh yeah, I want this a little higher though. So let's raise the water up. There we go. Except now this doesn't look like it's actually in the water. It looks like it's floating. <laughs> uh, easy fix. Easy fix. I just raise up this spot to uh, connect with it. Yeah, something like that. Isn't that cool? So much control in this game, and it's not all cubey and blocky and janky like it is in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 or 3. It looks more organic. So yeah, this game, I have to say, I have to hand it to Frontier. This game is an absolute beauty. Of course, I'm still kind of new. Multiple shops do not have enough vendor, have a vendor. Oh, 
uh, serves customers at shops? Well, how do I assign them to a shop? Are they just wandering around? Do I have to, whoop, hello. Do I have to assign you to a specific shop? Trainee, uh, employment, free roaming? Okay, I can't change that. Work roster, preferred shop assignment? Uh, I am so lost. How does this work? Do they automatically... Okay, this one found her way into a shop. Okay, I think I have... Whoa, hello. That's a freaking building. Oh, look how detailed this is. Bleh, detailed this is close up. That looks amazing. Okay. So we have one, two, uh, three shops here. I don't think this is a shop. And then four, five, six. Do I have stuff on the back of these? Oh, I totally do, and no one can access them. <laughs> okay, we have to expand our path over here. But that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I think. And then if I click on park management, how do I see how many staff I have? All staff. Workload is low, so I need to give them more things to do. What does it say what these people are? Okay, these are my... Oh, there's icons. So mechanics. We have some wandering... Uh... Uh, what do you call them? Vendors? I think I had, what was that? Three of them? One, two, three. So I need six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And hopefully they'll find their way into their shops. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm just learning as I go here. Paths. Let's grab this one. And connect that. And then this needs to connect as well. Yeah, this path system is weird. I like how organic it's capable of being, but making it turn out the way you want is hard. My gosh. Such a strange, janky system, I must say. There we go. A little loop to maybe put some more shops or maybe another ride in. It looks like the guests and have found the wooden roller coaster and mass, and they are enjoying it. Very good. Let's close all these. I wish I could have another train on this. I am still so confused at how this works. Really good value, they say, so I could probably charge holy ten dollars, charge more money for it. Of course, money doesn't matter because this is sandbox mode, but I should at least get used to the pattern of setting prices. Anyway, this, uh, I think I was in the middle of putting scenery around this before I got sidetracked. So let's get back to that. Scenery, let's go to foliage, to nature. Trees, can I subdivide to deciduous versus conifers? I don't think so. Okay, we have an oak tree in autumn time. Another oak tree, so various oak tree designs. That's cool. Various different models for trees. That tells me there's an oak tree one. Yep, oak tree one. So we have oak trees dotting the landscape. Then red emperor maples. Loving the fall colors. Absolutely loving them. What is this, a Christmas tree? No. <laughs> uh, sycamore. Aren't those, uh, aren't these supposed to be conifers? Or am I getting it mixed, or, yeah, conifers, or am I mixing it up with something else? I'm probably mixing it up with something else. Okay, we got a lot of conifer trees now. Let's get some deciduous trees. Do we have any pine trees? Poplar, uh, Christmas tree, blue fir tree. That looks rather Christmassy. I don't see any really tall conifer trees like Douglas firs or redwoods. DLC items? Uh, let's see. Douglas fir. Here it is. Douglas fir. Yes. And of course, it is very tall, but still kind of small compared to the oak trees. I mean, I know oak trees can get very big, but you have to see a Douglas fir in person like an old, ancient Douglas fir to really have an appreciation for how colossal these trees are. And where I live, if you go hiking in the forest, you can find some absolute monster Douglas firs. And then there's redwood trees. 
which are even bigger than Douglas firs. Okay, we have a nice mix-up of conifers and deciduous trees. Looking all nice and pretty. And the cool thing with, with uh, deciduous or conifer trees is they don't change color. Unless they die, of course. If you see a tree that's dying or has individual branches dying, you'll see it turning shades of brown and yellow. But for the most part, it stays green year-round. And it contrasts beautifully with these fall colors. So it truly is a little uh, a beautiful look. Anyway, so I think that's good for trees. Let's add a few more, oh, let me just a more trees. A few more elements, such as props or art shapes, path extras. I have to close this. Here we go. Barrel bin. Ah, here we go. This is the garbage can I want. Let me go. Ugh. Let me see what I'm doing here. Hello, I'm stuck inside a building now. <laughs> Let me through. I have this problem in Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 and they didn't fix it. Frontier. Although maybe they fixed it in Planet Coaster 2. So I'll be able to enjoy the improvements soon enough. I actually have no idea. Uh, but yeah, Frontier, actually, the same makers of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 made Planet Coaster. So you could say that this is the successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 as opposed to Atari creating Roller Coaster Tycoon World, which unfortunately didn't really do all that well. Uh-oh. Lots of trash overflowing out of this bin. I think we need to hire more janitors. But first, first, if I don't finish placing these garbage cans first, I will... Oh, I thought this was all garbage for a second. If I don't finish placing these, I'll just forget. So place all the garbage cans everywhere. Whoops, that one's... No, 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 no! That one was off the path. Can I place them off the path? Oh yeah, I can. I can place them off the edge like that. But just to be consistent, let's, uh, oh no, ah, I placed two. Okay, we'll have to come back to this spot and delete those. Okay, just a few more and we'll call it good. Oh, I made a mistake, that one's outside. All right, boop, boop, and that's good. Right then, close that. Let's delete these ones, which are not supposed to be there. Now let's go for some benches. We have a uh, Western picnic benches? Picnic table? Okay, I'll have to build a wider section of path for this, I think. So for now, Western fine bench. Cool, let's do these. All of my paths are the same. Oh, I missed this garbage can. All of my paths are the same, although I can do wider paths. I just uh, didn't think to, and now it's kind of too late. We're still learning. Uh, I guess I'm still learning. Many of you have played this before, and you're just watching me struggle through this for the first time. So thanks for being here. I'm sure many of you are leaving suggestions and tips in the comments. I appreciate that a lot. I have to say, I think I learn more from your comments than I do from Googling and searching things up myself. <laughs> I learned so much from your feedback, it helps a lot, so thank you everyone who does that. Why is this garbage can in the middle of the path? No! Delete that. Back to these fine western benches. Fine pine. End of month summary. Monthly profit. We are losing money, but our park rating has gone up and we've had thefts! Oh dear. I didn't realize theft would be part of this game. <laughs> we'll have to learn to deal with that, I suppose. Anyway. I think this is good. Let's have one more bench here. Seems there'll be a lot of people. Did I go there? Oh, yeah, a lot of people sitting on these benches, probably settling their stomachs after that very intense ride. All right, before I forget, we need more janitors because these people are overrunning the park with litter, with vomit, and all kinds of nasty. Oh no, come back! I pressed the wrong mouse button. Here we go. I wanna see what the animation is for these guys cleaning, uh, taking out the trash. So first he's gonna clean up the ground and then plunge it down. <laughs> I love the bits of trash flying everywhere. <laughs> it just disappears. So he doesn't even take it out. He just compresses it and hopes no one notices. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. 
Now, since this is sandbox mode, I can kind of hire as many of these guys as I want and not have to worry about the finances. Now, it is going to indicate in our monthly reports that we are unprofitable, probably because a big part of that will be because of these salaries that we're paying for these dudes. Huh, anyway, so no more of that. How, are people still saying this is good value? I don't see it popping up here. Oh, wait, no, good value still. So I'll turn this up a little bit. Let's turn it up to $14 and see if people think the price is a little more fair. Same with these other rides that we have already. This one, the prestige is about where I left it, so we didn't add enough scenery to it, apparently. Uh, thoughts? The, f the queue was quite quick, that's good. Good value, okay. So let's turn this up to $12? Let's start with 11 just to be safe. And we have this horrifying machine terrorizing these poor guests. Anyway, let's change the price on it. Uh, thoughts? A quick queue line? Maybe there's just not enough people interested. I see no thoughts on its price, but I'm going to assume that we just haven't had any recent thoughts, so I'm going to turn this up to $10 and see if this improves the park's profitability. And the only reason I'm doing this is to just train myself up in these patterns because, uh, oh yeah, good value. Because when I get into scenario play, I'm going to have to get used to adjusting all the prices for everything to make sure that we're not losing money overall. I don't have a staff building? Oh! Is that a... Huh? One of my janitors quit. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> how do I... How do I place a staff building? Vendors... Uh, janitors... Entertainment... Mechanics? Security guards... Staff building. Ah. A new roster? How does this work? Work roster selection to define priority attractions and facilities to be assigned to staff members. So mechanics will only interact with selected rides. I'm assigned to this. Okay. All of this is a little outside my pay grade. Oh, here we go. Staff building. How do I add? Huh? How do I add a staff building? So this is where I need to do it. Building... I assume it's not this stuff. This is all scenery. So, no. Close this. Shops and facilities. Other restaurants, small attractions. So, these are all for the... Ah, oh, staff management. Staff buildings. Ah, here we go. So, it is under the buildings and scenery stuff. But let's put this maybe kind of out of the way. Kind of like in the background of everything else. So, let's squeeze that right there. And, uh, I can't see. Let me see! Ugh. Place that right tucked up against the path. Beautiful. So now we have a staff building for our guests, or not our guests, our staff, to take breaks. Okay! Themed to a fairy tale forest with a stone foundation and a daub and wattle, uh, I can't get a look at it, let me go! A daub and wattle, uh, upper walls. And if I understand correctly, the reason why the upper walls on this style of architecture are wider than the lower walls is because if you look at a city like London or any kind of old, old city in Europe with narrow streets, they wanted more f uh, floor, floor space. So while the lower floor has to conform to the width of the roads, the upper levels can overhang a little bit. So they get a little more floor space by doing that. Now today, it's just an architectural style at this point. I mean, old legacy buildings will still have uh, bits of the building overhanging the road for the original reason it was built. But today, like if you're playing Minecraft and you do this, the only reason to do that is from an architectural artistic standpoint, for the most part anyway. So anyway, now we have that, let's build some more flat rides. Let's go with uh, rides, thrill rides, and uh, what is this? Iron claw, that's too big. What about this? Oh, it's the twist! Too big, though. This fits, though. Let's place the entrance, uh... Place the entrance over here where there's room. And the exit can go... Right here. Although, no, I think I want the... I think I want the, uh... The, the, the little kiosk dude to be where the entrance is. So let's turn this. There we go. I'll place the exit here and place the entrance 
Which side do I want this on? Oh yeah, we'll place it behind the operator. So he's not the one accepting tickets. I got that wrong. That's the guy at the end of the queue line. But I want it close to the operator to, anyway. So paths, uh, queue lines. What are we on? Oh yeah, it's the brick tiles. Let's actually break this. Break that. That works, I suppose. Okay, so close this. And now this ride can open. And based on the stats, which are nothing to shake a stick at, or as Tigger would say, nothing to stick a shake at. <laughs> the Tigger movie, one of my childhood favorites. Uh, anyway, I assume we could probably turn the price up on this. So let's do that. Maybe up to 750, who knows. This roller coaster is so popular. Man, I have to hand it to myself. Not a bad custom roller coaster. Very nice. Anyway, more rides. Let's go with a gentle ride this time. We have Bump and Derby. I assume there's bumper cars. Big Wheel. Star Wheel? Ooh, this is huge. I love that. Let's put this close to the front of the park as a part of the skyline. So we have the roller coaster over there. We have these buildings, then we'll have the Ferris wheel here, so guests from far and wide out in the parking lot, which obviously doesn't exist out here, can see it. I think that park it or uh, Imagineers or Parkitects, Architects, whoever you call them, they do this sort of thing on purpose. Actually, where is my... Okay, there's no obvious place to connect the path to. Uh, anyway, I think they, they think of the skyline of a park on purpose so that people can see it from far away and get hyped up as they're approaching. Maybe they pass it on the highway. All these little things they do to add to the experience. Alrighty, now let's get the queue line in place. Let's go back to these fancy bricks. Uh-oh, that's obstructed. Okay, well, let's make this a little bit longer then. Or just do this. No, 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 no. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong today? Let me go. Here we go. And I'm doing this thing again. Why am I doing that? I already decided that that, that doesn't look good. So let's delete those. Ay -ay -ay. And instead, go out. And then maybe do something like this. That's obstructed. What? What? I want to fit it there. Fine. We'll get a little... We'll leave a funky gap there. What the hunky-dory? There we go. A little weird looking, but we're just not going to look too close at it. <laughs> we don't need to focus on that. Let's see. Open. And the stats are, again, nothing special because it's a gentle ride. Which is funny because Ferris wheels scare me more than roller coasters do. And there's a reason for that. What the? Oh, these actually... Huh? Huh? Look at how these all progress together. Let's actually run this. I want to see what the cars do. Because there's only one place to load... But it looks like these ovals change orientation as the ride progresses. That's weird. So if I fast forward... Oh, it kind of does what the sun wheel does at Disneyland. Except not quite. They all do it because... Oh wait, no, yes it does. Because there's some on the outside that don't move anywhere. That's cool. So you can pick your poison. Do you want the gentle seat or the scary seat? <laughs> I love that. I love that. Let's open it. The stats are, no, didn't change. Let's turn this up to $5.50. Yeah, look at this little park. Looks like the sun's going down. So I guess time is a factor in this game. Oh yeah, look at that sunset. Beautiful. 
Let's get more rides. Let's first, actually no, first we need to expand the path network. So I kind of, ex I kind of uh, cut myself off from this area over here, unless I have a path wrap around. I suppose we could do that. Let me see. Paths, flagstone path. Why can't I do that? What's in the way? Do I not own this area? Maybe I maybe that's outside of the land that I own. Okay, well in that case we're going to wrap tight around this tree. No. Yeah, so this must be the border of my park. But it's not very clear where exactly it is. So I guess we'll sneak behind the Nope, never mind. Sneak behind the woody. We have to cut it a little close. I try not to get so close to the roller coasters. No! Oh, sad day. Sad day. Okay, I guess I can't go that way. Fine. I see how it is. So we're not going to go over there. I guess it can't be perfect. As I said, this is my first time playing this. So I'm not too fussed about not getting it exactly how I want it. Hey, don't connect there. Let's have this path kind of wind through the trees and go over to where the pond is. And should I use a different path? I like the flagstone path, so I'm not going to change it to the gravel. Whoops. How do I make these longer or how do I paint it, I suppose? There might be a way to do it, but if there is, I don't know it. Huh. Anyway, bring this over. There we go. A little windy through the trees, naturally, because we don't want to uproot the trees. You build around the trees, not the trees around the path. Unless you plant the trees, but we want this to look like a pre-existing forest. And how do I get these trees? What are those? Are those oak trees that are still green? Maybe that's what those are. Anyway. Let's think about rides again. What should I build next? Let's go with a thrill ride. The Iron Claw is this one. Blackout. Wild Blue. Zoro. Tri-Storm. A lot of fun options to play with. Okay entrance on the other side of the ride operator and the exit can go right here and the paths we need a queue line let's use something different this time stone slab although it looks more like black leather than stone <laughs> doesn't it look like black leather look at it it looks like cheap artificial black leather There we go. So that's good enough. Let's close this and open this. And based on these stats, which are pretty lame, let's turn it up to $9. The ratings are through the roof. That's an achievement, okay. I don't even know if that pops up on the screen because I think that's a Steam banner that pops up. So I might have been commenting about these pop-ups, but maybe you haven't been seeing them. I'll have to look over at my recording after I make this to find out. Track rides. Ring racers? What are ring racers? That might be go-karts. Let's make a whitewater rapids. Oh, we get pre-built? That is not what I meant to do. Custom. Uh, river rapids. Although, let me see what the blueprints look like. The whitewater blueprint doesn't have any scenery coming with it, so I don't see a reason to use it. Custom. Whitewater rapids. This could be a great way to use this space over here, is if we go around the pond and then go over there and then come back, then it's not wasted at all. We just don't have a path over there. So, based on the water flow, I think this is... Oh, there's an arrow too. So let's rotate this and then fine rotate it with the Z button. All right. Oh, they got the details right. 
So if you look at actual water rides like this, you'll see that, uh, okay, first of all, build that. Yeah, you'll see that the water stops and that the lift hill is like these little treadmills that take you out of the station. Although I do, I do want to revise this a little bit. Let's rotate this way. A nice wide turn. And then we'll put the lift hill here. Okay, straighten out. Nope, straighten out. Now, uh, here we go. A very fine, uh, lift hill. These are smaller than tiles would look in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 or, one or 2 or 3. So, let's go 20, actually that's too tall. 20 meters would be like 60 feet, more than 60 feet, more like 66 feet. So 15 or so meters is probably sufficient. Okay then, let's uh, turn this. And how fine of a slope can I use? Okay, that's the only increment I can really do. Straighten this out. Maybe level out. So I guess we can keep the turn as long as it's uh, leveling out. Now straighten out. So now we have a steeper drop. Can I go any steeper? I'm not sure if I can. Oh, I love how it automatically flattens out for you. If I want this to... Uh-oh. I don't want it to go underground, though. Although, will it? Okay, it won't let me, so we'll have to delete that bit. So... Level out. Although it's still above the ground, how do I bring it down to ground level? Maybe this should be one tile shorter? I don't know. Standard water, standard track... Oh, this is Rapids, okay. Oh, I see what I did. So let's undo all of these. And then drop start. Or no, no, no. First of all, regular track. Keep that level. Build, and then drop. Whoops! Wrong piece! So that's not ground level, so st uh, keep going down. Still not ground level. Oh, but that goes underground. Okay, so never mind. Break that. And flat! Although I guess the whole thing is above ground just slightly, so that's fine. Now, rapids. Rapids with a slight turn. Kind of snake through these hills a little bit. Yeah, no straight lines. No straight lines allowed. Let's make this a bit of a tighter turn now. Okay, maybe even tighter than that. Let's go... Like this. Following the edge of the park by the look of it automatically. That's cool. And this whole section was rapid, so maybe I should revise all that. So this should be regular, as should this. Okay, so we only have the rapids at the very end of the drop, so the most of this will be gentle. Okay, now we'll go up again. For a second hill. Back up to 15 meters. Immediately followed by a drop. That doesn't work. Uh, there we go. There we go, mate. Very nice. Although I think I shouldn't turn right at the bottom of a hill, because <laughs> you might fall off the track. I mean, you may not fall off the track, but realistically, you wouldn't really imagine that. Oh, we can have wide sections? 
I've been selling myself short this whole time. Wide Rapids, yes sir. I think with a wide we can get away with uh, turning actually, so let's turn it towards the roller coaster ever so slightly. And then turn to dodge the roller coaster. Maybe eliminate this tree. Is that t is that not allowing me to do that because of the tree or because of the of the roller coaster itself? Let me see. Uh, no, no, no. Go, go back. How do I delete stuff? I switch to terrain. Or not terrain. Uh, scenery. And I can delete the tree, and then back to this. Uh, close this. Where's the construction icon? Because it's not done. Demolish. No! Don't demol- Oh, fudge. Control Z. <laughs> oh, Control Z is a beautiful thing. Oh, that makes me happy. Anyway, back to trying to build this. Which button toggles that? And a track, here we go. Only the most obvious of the pieces was the, the correct one. <laughs> and it looks like the tree was indeed the thing that was in the way. So if I can uh, close this and delete this tree, then I should be able to, yes sir, there we go. Let's switch to basic track again. That's the edge of my... Oh, oh, snap. I'm running out of space! Let's make this really tight. No! That doesn't work. I may have to switch to this so I can get tighter turns. Oh, good. I was afraid that that wouldn't work out. Okay. No, this is the only way. Okay. Wonderful. Let's have one final lift hill going over this, if possible. I have a feeling that may not work, though. Uh, up! Up to this height. So we have a drop piece, which is designed to specifically be a drop, but then we can also slope this? That's really strange. Really strange, I must say. I wonder if that poses a risk to falling off the track at all. Okay, can I go up now? I don't think it'll let me go up. Interesting. Good to know. Hey, they're actually able to touch each other. Just barely. Slight overlap. That's cool. Alright, I said this would be my last drop, but we have all the space and I gotta fill it with something. So let's have a draw a hill here. Up we go. To the ripe old height of 15 meters. Which is metric. I wonder if I can switch it to Imperial. So at least I know what I'm looking at. And uh, apologies to all my international viewers. I agree, metric is superior to Imperial. It's just that uh, I guess Americans don't like change. <laughs> they, they know a system that they don't want to change it because we're all... Anyway, don't want to bash my own country or anything, but you are right that metric is superior to Imperial. The uh, Instead of dealing with fractions and stuff, it's easier because you do deal with decimals. And it just it's a more logical system. And I'm actually familiar with metric because I used to participate in something called Science Olympiad, where everything had to be metric because it was a science uh, event. But anyway, let's uh, turn around, screw with our support structure a little bit. It 
looks like autocomplete isn't an option, and I'm not sure how I get down to one meter. How do I do that? Because this won't let me. Huh? Wide section, wide section. So these are both wide sections, but they are... Uh... Okay, that's weird. Anyway, how the heck do I bring this down to the ground? Do I do this? Because that goes down below a meter. Somewhere on this, there is a sub... There is a one meter difference or transition... Whereas most of these are in, uh... Yeah, I don't know what I did. Maybe I have to, uh, do it... Yeah, it's, it might be right here because I have this sloped piece. So let's, uh, retract all of these bits. Well, I guess I'll keep this drop. Bring that down to level. Put rapids on it. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Turn rapids off, and we're going to bring this down and turn it. Does that bring me down to ground level? I think so. That did, that did the trick. Wonderful. Beautiful day. Beautiful day indeed. Although I think I made this a little too tight. Let's make this wider. Significantly wider. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Stunning. Glorious. Let's make it a little tighter. So I'm lined up with my station. Alright, now let's bring this bring this uh home. Bring it in. Okay, whoops. These are too wide, so make this one increment tighter. No! How do I freaking... There we go. <laughs> Can I actually adjust these? What do these do? Oh! That's cool! I didn't know I could do that. Huh! Nice! That's so sick! Whoops, don't go down. Stay level. Uh, Control Z is a beautiful button. Okay, well this Water Rapids is very long and very much ready to test, I think. Although I think I was supposed to make the station longer, come to think of it. So let's... No, 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 pull those back. I think the number of track pieces I get is largely determined, or the number of cars, boats I get is determined by the length of my station. At least I'm assuming it is. No! How do I... Aha! I see. Interesting. Very interesting. Anyway, let's, uh... Bring this... But let's, uh, connect this again. <laughs> There we go. Beautiful thing. And this spot's a little tight, I think. So let's uh, smooth it out. Yeah. Okay, so let's close the editor. Now I think if I go to one of these buttons, lets me choose the number of rafts I have. Oh yeah. Let's go with 12. Probably all I mean. Actually, no, this is so big. Let's actually go with 20. Because they're all going to be spaced apart pretty nice. Minimum waiting time is 60 seconds? No, sir. Can I type this in? Let's go with 20 seconds. Even that may be too long. Minimum departure interval? Three seconds? Or maybe I'm getting these two things mixed up. Anyway, let's get the entrance and exit. Let's get the entrance by that. And I don't know what the optimal placing is. I'm just going to throw them down. Throw down the gauntlet and see how this turns out. Very good. Q line, same deal. Let's not do the shoe leather. Let's do, uh, what is this? A path marked with arrows? Interesting. 
a blue Q path. I think that is what we want today. Let's keep it in the air a little bit just to be cool and unique. And now bring it down to the ground. What the? It went from, huh? For some reason it had a ramp, I thought. Oh yeah, it does have a ramp, but at least it's not after the stairs. I'd rather have a landing there, because a landing seems a little bit safer. Perfect. Now this spacing is not optimal. I'll, I'll work out the kinks as I understand the game better. As I said, this is my first time ever playing this. I'm still learning how it works. But anyway, let's hop aboard and try it out. And now we're sitting amongst the crash dummies. <laughs> cool. I'm actually, I am a dummy. <laughs> I am a dummy. Look at that. <laughs> Cinematic, interest, and seat. Cool camera modes. I love how realistic this looks. Can I, can I squawk the birds? Let me actually see. In Roller Coaster Tycoon, all the other games, I could squawk the birds. If I can squawk the birds in this game, I'll be a happy man. Now, where'd they go? Where is they? Haha. -ha. I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well. Let's hop aboard. We're about to go down the drop. Why am I sitting in the back? This sucks. No, I can't see where we're going. No. Okay, I can look over. Oh. Oh, we're rotating. Okay. Okay. I'm not worried. This is fine. I'm not going to freak out on this drop. Spinning out of control. I have to say, though, this is really cool. I love how detailed this is. Woohoo! Oh, that was lame. I mean, I mean, it was good. It was good. It just wasn't particularly uh, exciting or intense. Hey! You're splashing us! Oh, hey! You can see the details of the supports. They look like steel. Interesting. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3, they always looked like they were made of wood. But here you can actually see the steel down to the individual I-beams and the columns and the individual bolts. Oh man, I love how detailed this is. I mean, I guess this is a 21st century game. Well, I guess most games are 21st century. This is a mid-2010s game. Although it's it's getting old, though, come to think of it. What did this, when did this come out? 2016? Man, I should have been playing this a long time ago. <laughs> anyway... As long as I get through it and enjoy all everything this game has to offer before Planet Coaster 2 comes out, then I should be satisfied. So this is pretty boring. I'm not going to sit there the whole time and watch it. While it's testing, let's add scenery to this. Let's also paint it. I'm not sure I'm digging this orange color. So let's see, where do I do that? Ah, here we go. The track color, I'm assuming is this. Operator color? Okay, the track color. Something is brown, but I don't see what the brown is. Is that the supports underground? I don't think anything changed. <laughs> okay, whatever. We'll leave that wherever it was. This could be... Not yellow. I think I actually like the green color, but the supports could be a deep violet? Maybe? It's not as loud of a color, though, so I can I can be cool with that. And all the rafts are all in the same place, so I think I'm going to change the dispatch interval to every six seconds to based on, uh, based on the length of all these... Yeah, they're, they're filling up about half the track, so by doubling the dispatch interval, that might space them out to what I need. Multiple shops are still missing vendors. How do I... Huh? Okay. How do I fix that? Look at these people. How do I get a... Whoa, how do I get a closer look in here? I am inside the shop. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Look how eager they are. Like, give me my food. Thank you, sir. 
This is so cool. I love how detailed this is. And he's making invisible hamburgers. Look at him go. A proper professional burger maker. Anyway. Uh, let me out. Okay, press T to get back to the other camera mode. Here we go. So from T, it inverts this. So I'm, I'm looking around on this single pivotal point. If I press T and I do it, it's more like I'm orbiting a point of interest. I'm actually not sure which one the default was. Hey, we made profit. Look at that. Our park rating went down though. And why don't we have vendors? Did some of them quit and I just wasn't paying attention, I guess? I guess we do have notifications. Let me check. Uh, missing a vendor, missing a vendor. Lots of places missing a vendor. <laughs> the Monsieur Fritas, or Frites? Frites? However you say that, has been missing for a while. I must have had vendors quit or something, or are they all roaming? Uh, park management, all staff. Yeah, they're all wandering. How do I tell them to actually get a, to start working in the, huh? Roster assignment? I am so confused. I'm sure many of you will probably be furious in the comments and point out what was evidently obvious from the get-go, but I'm just lost here. So <laughs> I'll await your feedback. I'll probably do some research in my own time too and figure out how the heck I'm supposed to operate this place. Cause I have all these vendors and they're just wandering around. Or are there different vendors that go in the shops? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Anyway, uh, so these shops have people. This one does not. And why are you guys walking into each other? What is happening right now? What is happening? <laughs> They're just walking into each other. The janitor is blocking people. That's funny. Anyway, let's hire one of these people and see if he goes in. <laughs> he just jumped the counter. <laughs> I totally just jumped the counter. Okay, well, I guess we just need to find all the places that don't have staff. This one, I think this one does? Let me see. Freelick, ugh. Okay, there is someone here, they're just working fast, but people are... I thought they walked away because they were unsatisfied, but maybe, or tired of waiting, but I guess there is someone in there. What about this shop? This shop is empty. So you jump the counter and get to work. And this one has... What does the sign say? Let me over. Versi... Venture... I don't know what that says. Okay, jump the counter. She's like, woohoo, I have a job! <laughs> and this one needs a vendor. I guess I have to drop them right in front of the shops so they don't end up roaming around, wandering around the park. Interesting. Yeah, like this dude, it's just jobless. This dude is free roaming, so I guess we'll get rid of him. You're fired! I guess I got in a word. So now he's gonna mope his way out of the park. Is it just me or is he slouching? Poor guy. How do I hire him again? Leaving park. Okay, rehiring doesn't appear to do anything. Let me play with this play with his head. Aw oh, man! Aw, oh, I'm fired. Oh, you're hired again. Come on back, sir. Heading to a shop. Is he heading to a shop? Oh, he's heading to this one, isn't he? Or is he going to help this person? No, he's going to stand there waiting for his shift. Oh, no? Oh, yeah. He's letting this person go on break. <laughs> look, at his, look at his posture. He's so tired. <laughs> I guess maybe we need more more staff than we have shops, don't we? That makes sense, actually. Because in a real-world context, that makes a lot of sense. But I assumed that in a game, where it's all just, uh, manufactured, it would, you would just have a number of staff equal to the number of shops, but no! There are details that they thought of in this game that are, haven't been in this predecessor, so that's really cool! Really cool detail. What's with this bunch up of people? Are they all trying to get food or something? If I click on somebody... Fanny Newman. I don't get a, don't get a preview of her. Wh who did I click on? I think it was the girl with the fancy sweater. No, that's Cassandra Carey. Oh no, it highlights the person. Okay. Oh, this guy's dragging his uh, broom. Staff happiness? I can't find a free staff building. 
I've got no energy left. This is too much. Okay, this guy is very unhappy. We need a, another staff building by the look of it. Maybe this one's too far away. Can't I pick you up? If I move you and drop you by the staff building, will you go in? Where's my staff building? Uh, oh, there he goes. I think he had a pathfinder to it. There we go. Nice. Okay, well, maybe I need additional staff buildings because I have too many staff. So let's hire, not hire, build another one. Uh, is that this tab? Park management, staff building. Uh, how do I make another one? I forgot. Is that under, uh, shops and facilities? That's right. Other, no, staff management. Here we go. Planet Coaster staff building, so I guess this is just a generic one. So it fits if I rotate it. Let's put it here. Cool. Very nice. And I assume it's open by default, right? No, 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 the wrong button. Okay, I don't see a button to open or close it, so I assume that's open. Very good. All right. So we have two tracked rides, the rapids and the roller coaster. We have a bunch of flat rides in this big open space that I built with the intent of building rides and then I never actually did. So let's get some more rides. Do we have any very large flat rides with big footprints? Ooh, this is pretty. Pirate ship. I don't have room here with those trees in the way, so I'll have to build something smaller there. Let's place you right, uh, what am I working with here? Right here, I suppose? Then the entrance can go there. And the exit can go there. Beautiful. Now the queue line will have to wrap around a little bit because this is already so close to the... Do I want this blue? Yeah, this, I like this. So we'll have this kind of bend around like this, I think. And then come back. There we go. Is that a funky layout or what? I don't know what I'm doing. I feel like this game has the potential for really fine tuning, nitty gritty detail to make really beautiful parks, but it takes a big time commitment to do that. And I don't know if that is something that would be a better better format is to personal play, where I have the time to kind of just spend an hour working on one flat ride. But the problem with doing that on a YouTube channel like this is I'd probably bore you half to death doing that. So let me know in the comments if you have any recommendations for what format I should kind of follow in this game. Oh, I need to open this still. Whoops. Nice stats though. Let's charge $10. And then I could, I suppose, uh, design my own blueprints for stuff in my own time. Because I'm pretty sure if I go here, that doesn't help. Uh, rides, and then... I don't see any. Am I supposed to download them? Huh. I could have sworn that these came with a bunch of preset scenery items and stuff. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't... Uh, maybe there's additional things I need to download for that. But I'm still learning how this works, so hey, this will fit here, because it's narrower. Let's place you right there. Place the entrance over here. And the exit by the stairs. I think this is commonly named the Ring of Fire. Let's give it a glossy vinyl cue. following the very edge of things. Hey, let me do that. Okay, maybe I have to move the entrance a little bit closer. So if I, no, 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 close this. Place the entrance a little bit closer, if that'll fix the spacing for me. Let's actually do a swirly dark red path. Hey, no, delete that. Delete that. What is happening? Why does it keep trying to snap to this? I don't want to do that. 
No. No. Oh, it's because the 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 right is in the way, isn't it? I bet if I move the entrance again, that I'll be able to do it. Let's try this one more time. Why can't... Huh? My head. I'm confused. I'm a confused man today. What if I put it there? Let me do the thing. Whoa. What just happened? Whoa. Whoa. Bring me back. Bring me back, I say. So there's like an intersection here. It's like already trying to go there for some reason. Every time I open it, it automatically defaults to that spot. Is that a bug or is there something I did? I guess I'll just d design it backwards then. Fine. Design the queue. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. I know what I'm doing. This is the regular path, not the queue line. <laughs> oh, my head. I'm an idiot. Let's go this way. I don't want it to snap there. So let's wrap around again. That should be sufficient, although I want this to be a gra more gradual curve. There we go. That works. The path does look weird, but I'm still experimenting. Let's open this. Change the price to $10. The ratings are through the roof. I don't know what that means. Uh, let me look at this ribbon. I haven't really gotten a good look at it. Is this my park rating? Park rating is 915. I'm going to guess that that caps out at 1,000. So that means we're doing okay. Guest happiness plus 12%. Marketing bonus, zero. Park balance bonus. Scenery rating and ride rating. Nice. We have unlimited funds. Although we are, uh, our monthly profit is in three, the triple digits, which is laughable. So we're, we're still learning here. <laughs> we have a lot of guests, a pretty even distribution of adults and teens with a smaller number of family group guests. I don't know. Anyway, let's build a small roller coaster in this spot right here, like a wild mouse. Let me see if I can find it. I can actually search for it. Wild. Spinning wild mouse, is that the only one I get? How about steel? Crazy one, loony turns? I'm gonna guess that that's the, what we know as the regular steel wild mouse, isn't it? So, uh, first of all, close this menu. Oh wait, no, come back, come back. I lost it, give me that. Maybe it's not gonna let me place it or get rid of this menu until I place this first bit. So, entrance can go. Right there, I suppose. Oh, yes. Let's go up real steep. How steep can this go, actually? 60 degrees. Okay, I think this is as steep as it goes. So I would wager a guess that this is the Steel Loud Mouse, based on the fact that I'm able to do this really steep lift hill. Okay, regular path. Let's do a very tight turn. Yep, I thought so. And now, drop. Although, first of all, straighten out. That's 45 degrees. Oh, we can go vertical with this. Jeez. Okay, vertical. Why is it turning? I didn't tell it to turn. Or maybe this piece was turning already. Okay. Uh, delete those. We have to rethink this. Why is that turning? Although I guess I could turn this way. Oh, that's cool. It spirals. Yo! Sweet! Let's straighten that out. No more turning. And level it out. And bank this so we can start turning. So 45 degree angle. Let's make it a little steeper as we go into this turn section. Now let's raise it up. And as it raises up, we will reduce this to 45 degrees because it'll be slowing down 
then flatten out to zero as we crest this. No, actually, let's not crest that. Okay, keep it keep it banked a little bit. Okay, level out, straighten out, flatten out. Now let's drop again, this time to the side. Where are we at? 22 degrees. Set this to 45 degrees. I love how flexible this is. This is cool. I've always wanted to do something like this. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2, even 3, don't let you do this, where it's like a sideways loop, sort of. But here in Roller Coaster, not Roller Coaster Tycoon, here in Planet Coaster, you can. So this is really neat. Let's place that. What kind of special bits do we... Oh, we get loops! Then we get helixes by the look of it. What the heck? What are rolls? Oh, snap. These are cool. I probably would have uh, designed this a little differently if I had, if I knew these were available, but this works. A little overbanked turn sort of thing. Oh, no, that goes straight up upside down. All right. Nice. So we started at 30 meters, so I'm going to assume that if we bring this down to the ground, we should have enough momentum to get a loop out of this. Let's start uh, turning this. Keep it going down, though. And as we reach ground level, now we'll flatten out. No, don't do that. Flatten out. Switch that to 45 degrees. And now I want to add a loop. Whoops. Oh, I can make that longer. Cool. Huh. All these little controls I didn't realize I had access to. That's cool. So put that there. And now loops. That's too big. That's too big. Much too big. Do I have anything reasonably small on this? Ooh! Oh! A sideways loop. That is so cool. Wow. I don't see... Oh, here we go. These are much too big. Dive loop... Inclined loop. Yeah, these are all too big based on the size of my lift hill, so I can't really do any of that. How about rolls? These are also too big. What is this, a half corkscrew? No, come back. Corkscrew. I should have enough room for that. But now I'm uh, kind of in trouble. Is this... Huh? It's going to leave me upside down? Huh. And here I thought I could like... Oh, here we go. Half loop out of this. Yes, sir. Half loop out, baby. And I'm stuck. I'm stuck. How do I... Oh, here we go. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. We did it. Okay, let's bank a little bit. Bank a little more and start turning and bring this home. Although, well, we probably got some momentum and unlimited funds. Let's have fun with this. Let's not end this prematurely. Let's actually bank this a little more. 45 degrees. Raise this up again. It does, I must say, it does take longer to design uh, roller coasters with this system, but it does give you a lot more control. So, uh, keep that a little wider. 
mean, do I get uh, non like helixes, like a helix up? I do, but I don't appear to have room for it, unless... If only I could do that. It's too close to that spot. You see where it's kind of clipping there? But I wonder, if I bring this in... If I bring this in a little closer, if I could do that anyway. So if I turn this a little bit here to start with... Now let's try it. Non-inversions, helix up. No. Just a different problem. I think I need to be lower for that to work. I can get lower. Let's do that. Let's drop this. Go there. And now try it. Yes, we can. Look at that. Hey. Although I am kind of doubtful that we'll have momentum because we're already at half of the original height. And as a single car, this is not going to retain momentum all that well. So. Let's turn this around. That's going to be a jarring section. Let's make that a little less jarring. Jar jarring binksing. What am I even saying? <laughs> That's so weird sounding. <laughs> Okay, bank this even tighter, so it's nearly, nearly completely horizontal. Well, sideways, so the, the, the guests riding it are nearly horizontal, I mean. Woohoo! Now we need to find a way... Oh, that's not gonna work. Yeah, don't do that. We need to make this a little more gradual, I think. Okay, flatten out, straighten out, and I need to find a way to return this to the station. And I've kind of cut off my avenues to do that, so... No, 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 delete that. No! I said delete. Go here. I think. Okay, let's bring this down to the level of the station. Which is... Two meters? No, that's zero. Okay, so it looks like... Okay, three meters... How do I... Because the the slope... Oh, it skips two meters. It goes straight from three to zero. Weird. How do I make that work? Maybe if I go up first. Higher security. Multiple thefts have occurred, but there are no security guards to report it to. Well, I don't have money, so I don't care. <laughs> Just kidding. I should care. It's about the principle. Okay, let me see. I'll start this wide over here. And make it tighter. All while going slightly down. Or at least level? Or maybe what I should do is just, uh... Change, uh, direct this towards... Direct this towards the, uh... To the exit, have a break section, and then just let the game automatically change the elevation. Because it's sophisticated enough, it can do that. Because it's cool. Why are we going up now? Hey, don't go up. Hey, that may actually be a viable option. That's cool. No uh, brakes, though. I do want a longer station, though, because... Uh, uh, let me see. How do I add additional pieces? Station. Oh, 
Oh, I think I accidentally built this. That wasn't supposed to go there. This needs to be station pieces. No, come back. This one. Or how do I... How do I get multiple of these rails? Or maybe I have to have multiple cars for that. Or no, because it's a single vehicle, it doesn't uh, have more of these little gateways. I get it. Okay. Okay, so with... Okay, maybe just one more tile. Whatever. Autocomplete. Well, that's not even banked. The game's not even trying anymore. <laughs> okay, delete. No! No, 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 no. Why was it deleting those? I said cl click this one and del delete these ones. No! No, 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 no. No, no, no. This one. Here we go. There we go, governor. Hello, chum. Straighten out. Go down this time. And don't go up. Stay down. Oh, wait, no, it can't. It has to go up. Fine! Well, if you're going to be like that, let's at least roll. I don't have room for that. I think I need to revise this whole section. This whole section is a problem, problem area, so perhaps what I could do is not bank this quite so much. And leave it at the slope it was at initially. Just make this really wide. Here we go. Switch that to 45 degrees. And do I get a partial helix? That goes way too low. Okay. So perhaps if I level this out, I could make that work. Okay, helix down. Where was that? Helix down right, or down left. Why don't I get a half helix? Oh, here it is. Still too low, though. Huh. So helixes aren't quite as flexible as what I'm used to in Roller Coaster Tycoon th uh, 2 and 3. Interesting. So... Ah, whatever. Keep this slope. We'll make our own helix. Now make this uh, a little tighter. Then straighten this out, shorten it, no, shorten it, now I'd like to have a brake section, nice and short, and then autocomplete, yeah that works, okay, I'm, I'm good with that, <laughs> and it looks like, yeah, I don't need to fine tune that, let's make sure I have more cars than this, Two. Only two. Brilliant. Okay, time to revise. Time to revise. This is too short. Why is this going up all of a sudden? Stay down and turn. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. This needs to be a little shorter. Hey, there we go. Now flatten out and add those brakes I wanted. What are those? Trim brakes? Friction brakes. There we go. Friction brakes. Now this spot needs to have more station tiles, I think. Now this is way too long. <laughs> Delete that. Autocomplete. Beautiful. So now I think, if I close this, I can get more trains, or cars. Yes! Four cars! Wonderful! 
and look at how well this fits. Why is it glowing though? It's like highlighted, the whole thing is highlighted. There is no entrance for loony turns. Oh, of course not. Uh, of course not. There we go, now it's not glowing. Say goodbye, op ride operator. Woohoo! Up we go. Can I change the lift hill speed, actually? I don't know if I need to, but, uh... Ah, oh, whatever. All aboard! And the sun is shining on it, so it's glowing. Oh, you can even see the ratchet system on the track. That's a fine detail that they added. That's a cool detail they added. Look how busy the rapids are! Maybe I should uh, turn down the dispatch interval. Did we just stall? We stalled! Are we getting pushed by the car behind us? <laughs> we stalled. <laughs> oh, crud. Oh, buckaroo, we stalled. That's embarrassing. Okay, well, there's an easy fix for that. If I just break these pieces and just have them go down a little bit. Just a little bit. And now... No, 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 what's going on? Stop, stop, it's gonna crash, what the heck? Edit track. Straighten out, I say straighten out. Now go vertical. These pieces have to go. Why is it still running? Hold on. Stop. There we go. Or else we're going to have a crash. Okay, delete this one. Level out. Very good. Oh, that's jarring. That's bad. Not, well, let's not do that. Let's, uh bring the revisions all the way down to here so we can make this bit uh, go over that, sp that uh, yeah, sp span of time. What am I saying? Okay, so build that piece and then drop vertical. I have a feeling we have to make some revisions elsewhere. So let's make this hill Taller. <laughs> yep, we're going taller. <laughs> okay, so now we finish that. And now, switch to regular track. Let's go with a slight change in elevation. Is that straight? I can't see. Straight. Straight, I say. Now, we want this to go vertical, I think. Yeah, so vertical there. And then turn right. Turn right again. And it has to somehow connect with this. So let's push these. No, don't auto, auto build. Delete back to there. That's going to be a lot of G-forces, I think. Yeah, problem. Big problem. Uh... Oh, I think I have a solution. This will start curving up already as it's turning. And this should start to be banked. I probably should have done it in the previous one too, so let's actually roll this. Question is, is it rolled the right way? I think so. This is so complicated and yet so cool. I gotta hand it to Frontier. Make this wider! That's janky. That's extremely janky. But it works! So let's, uh, actually let's widen this first. Maybe roll a little bit less. Can 
can I... This little junction here looks weird. If I could sort of, uh... Fix it. Huh. If I select different parts, so if I do this... No! Okay, that'll have to suffice. Let's try this again and see if this if the stats in this aren't too intense. Well the first entrance and exit. And why is it glowing? Oh, it's glowing because I highlighted it. Okay. All aboard. Although real quick, I still want to figure out if I can make the lift hill faster. Uh, let's see. I don't see it on here. Maintenance, triggers, options. Ah, forget it. Hop aboard. No, 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 don't edit. No, wrong button. Gosh darn it. Start. There it goes. And rush up that lift hill. All aboard. See the ratchet? It does look like it does look paper thin though, so that's one detail that I hope they improve in Planet Coaster 2. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, that was rough. Oh, that was extremely rough. Woohoo! I hope it doesn't show in the stats. Jeez! Look at this thing go. Okay, we didn't stall, fortunately, but barely. I have a feeling that if we didn't add that vertical height to the lift hill, that we may have stalled in that spot. And we may stall yet. We stalled. We stalled. Stop, 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 stop. No crash, please. Okay, it looks like we made a mistake with this. And I have a feeling the solution is a taller lift hill. Yes, a taller lift hill to make this even more crazy. So let's, uh, huh. <laughs> Delete this ridiculous autocomplete piece. Break all of these. I think we just need to revise, rethink what we did here. Okay, very tall. Very tall and crazy. The tallest ride in the park. 40 meters. Three times 40 is uh, 120 feet, 130, 140 feet tall, because our meters, not feet, or not yards. So, ridiculously tall. And now, for things to get interesting. There's actually no reason I can't bank it here. So let's start the bank here, just a little bit, because it starts slow. And then bank more here and then straight although let's actually make it turn after all so we'll keep it turning yeah that looks a little more organic if I let it turn the spiral of death Here we go, now it's lining up. If I straighten this out. I think I might be able to... That's not even too janky, look at that. Although I do think I want this to be a little less rolled. So let's uh roll this less. There we go, much better. I have a feeling this spot right here though might be rough. Anyway, all aboard. This thing is crazy. Okay, fast forward the lift hill and hop aboard. Let's go, ho ho! Woohoo! Oh baby. A little bit faster through the corkscrew. It's good to see. 
We may still stall, though, just because there's so much friction on these single vehicles. Oh, yes, we barely made it. Barely made it. Beautiful. Woohoo! Brakes and into the station. Beautiful. All right, now that, that's, now that it actually works, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, then. Let's build our path system for it. Let's go with the red, just to be different. Oh, that's the, uh, the, uh, whoops, that was the entrance. Now for this. Let's see, black is cool. Oh, it's obstructed by the train. Okay, so let's bring this to the ground then. Uh, no ramp. Let's try to dodge the supports so we don't, uh, don't encroach on them. Stay up! What's happening? No! Go here. I still can't go through there, can I? Yeah, this is too low to fit under. Okay, fine. So I'll go... I'll stay on this side from over here, then. And it looks like this queue line's gonna be a tad short. Very short. It's not going to let me do anything except place it there. Darn it. Oh, well, fine. That's fine. No biggie. Let's open it. Except, oh, wait, no. No. Rating us too high. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I screwed this thing up big time. Oh, well. Your ride is too scary. Guests won't want to ride it. Well, there's a learning experience for you. I guess we can start over. Let's try again. With all the things I've learned, let's try this again. So it is sad to delete all of it, but, uh, anyway. Delete these, delete those. Let's try this again. The crazy one. Okay. Lift hill. Let's not quite go so tall this time. I need to take it easy here. Okay, 23 meters, a nice modest height. Switch to, what are these? Okay, regular track. Let's go down a tad while we take a tight turn and bank. Let's widen this, bank it a little more. Actually, no, no, no. Delete that piece. Start going steeper as it banks to 45 degrees. Okay, so this is working. Let's have a little uh, hill crest there. Oh, that's not banked enough. Uh, switch that to 45 degrees. Let's do, uh, let's look at our other features. We have loops, which are all much too big. Taller than the lift hill by a lot. 
So for how sensitive this thing was to G-forces, how do I even add these? <laughs> there, okay, there's a lot of skill that goes into this, it looks like. This is going to be tricky. These ones are low enough that I should be fine. I just don't have room here. But it, if I go... Maybe if I turn around, let's roll this the other way. Now let's do it. So loops... Too big and it encroaches on that ride. What about uh what about corkscrews and the like? Oh we get this thing. That should work. Yeah, that should be okay. No, come back! Where'd it go? I think we have corkscrew huh? Underground corkscrews? No, 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 no. Okay, we have these ones, but we don't have room for them because it's uh, in the way of stuff. So let's add a regular track piece first. Maybe roll it a little bit. Turn it a little bit. And now do it. Oh, yeah. So we kind of just did the same thing we did there, in a sense. And that, that looks silly. We shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Okay, no corkscrew. Bad idea. Bad idea. Let's stick with basic hills. Uh, I do want to curve this. And now go up. That's a little abrupt, so let's make that more gradual. So from 23 to 10 meters, that should be fine. Looks like we still have a theft problem, so I'm going to go ahead and hire some uh, people. Let's see, staff, attractions, facilities. Is that the right one? Oh, here we go. How do I hire staff again? Hire staff. Security. Now, since theft seems to be a serious problem, let's hire several security officers and dot them around our shops. Very good. All of our silly guests keep stealing my stuff. All right, back to this. Okay, let's bring this back to the station with a few hills, just for fun. I think that's lined up? Roughly? I think so, yeah. So now straighten out. Unbank yourself. No, don't go down. Shrinkify. Shrinkificate. And now for brakes. Friction brakes. And this needs another station piece, I think. Why are these so long? Yeah, just a basic friction brake. And then autocomplete. So we're just slightly off by a hair. If 
I uh, adjust this, there we go. Now it's all nice and straight. So hopefully this more modest attempt at the wild mouse will be a little less insane. <laughs> Let's add a few extra trains. Only three, I'm not gonna complain. I need to be humble and uh, just accept what I'm given because I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, I have a clue what I'm doing, I suppose. I mean, we did build a roller coaster with a much shorter lift hill. Hello, dum-dum. I mean, rubber dummy. Woo! I think they, part of the reason for dummies is they simulate the weight of passengers to get an accurate uh, performance reading. And they also test to see if the dummies will fly out of their restraints. So lots of different thing, reasons to use dummies. I think they have G-Force sensors. Um, oh, hello, we just killed a bird. <laughs> I think they also test if they fit through all the gaps and if guests will be able to reach out and hurt themselves. All right, that looked very gentle, very easy. Let's hop off and see what the results look like. Test results, very good, within within parameters, so no issues. Nice. All right, let's path this thing up, or actually no, we need to uh, close that. We need our entrance and our exit first. Entrance, exit, which directly connects to the path of the ramp, that's cool. Okay, paths. Q line. I don't like this. What am I doing? Delete those. How do I not automatically snap to the grid? Uh... Angle snap? Align to grid? Okay, the grid moves, so that's interesting. Uh, I want to continue this, but I don't, I don't want it to snap there. I want it to... Oh, fudge biscuit. Oh, here we go. There we go. Nice. Nicety. So close this, open this, and change the price to a respectable $12. The ratings are through the roof. So I think if this gets to a thousand, then I get the award. Actually, did that even appear on the screen for you? I keep seeing these pop-ups and I don't even know if you can see them because <laughs> they're Steam banners. I don't know if OBS, my recording software, captures Steam banners. Oh, hello, birds. No, bird. Bird, where'd it go? Bird! Let me click it. No! Sad day, I can't squawk the birds. Oh, well. This game makes up for it in other ways. It's a cool game. Let's decorate this new ride with scenery. Let's look at, uh, what are these? Special effects? The heck? Okay, I don't like this. Let's delete it. <laughs> I mean, I like it, just not in the context of this ride. Display sequences and tools? Screens? What is this? Park speaker display, park speaker music? What does this do? So if I place this here, what does that do? Are these functional or do they, uh, do they, uh, they close this? Do these make sound at all? Why are there two of them? Hey! Delete. It does actually have a monthly running cost. That's interesting. Okay, now what do I do with this? Add your own music? 
to my documents forward slash frontier developments planet coaster user music. Oh, so I can actually play my own stuff with this. That's cool. That's really cool. And we're not using it today. <laughs> let's let's try again with the scenery. Uh, let's see props. What the? So track pieces that aren't actually part of the track. That's cool. So in Roller Coaster Tycoon One and Two, I've seen a lot of people build fragments of roller coasters to be scenery and just leave them closed, despite the passive running costs they cause in the park. But here, the game went ahead and added it. That's so cool. Let's put that there. Why is it in the air? Why is it in the air? No, 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 no. There we go. Cool. <laughs> it even matches the color scheme. I love it. Let's uh, let's add some foliage. Can't go wrong with trees. If in doubt, plant trees. Because I am not an expert at this game. You could say scenery is kind of my weakness. And Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3... And, uh, well, yeah, in Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3, my weakness is trees. Where my strength, you could say, is the ability to design custom roller coasters and make them look really good. I'm not very good with the scenery. That's kind of where one of my growing stages. Maple tree. Why can't I build it there? Oh, there it goes. Get some cute little maples plant, uh, dotting the landscape. What is this? Poplar? Oh, I like that. Let's get some poplar trees. Beautiful. Look at this park coming together. I must say, my progress is a lot slower than it typically is with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3 because we've been recording for nearly three hours, and this is all I have to show for it. So on the one hand, there is incredible potential for this game, but on the other hand, either it's because I'm new, I'm blah, 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 blah. either it's because I'm new, or there's the progression of this game is simply shorter. Whatever the case, hold on, I need to change this dispatch interval. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's try four seconds to decongest that. Yeah, this takes a while. Not complaining, though. We have made some cool progress. I may just have to get used to recording longer videos, which is a bit of a strain on my upload schedule. In the past, I was doing my best to upload uh, three videos per week. I was uploading two Roller Coaster Tycoon videos, Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 or 2 and Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 videos, and then I would upload a Vintage Story video. But now I've kind of fallen behind, and now I'm struggling to upload two per, two per week. So... If the gameplay for these videos is going to be three hours plus every time I record one, eh, that'll be a challenge. That'll be a real challenge. I'll have to figure something out with that. I love the details here, though. Do we get any... Okay, there's wall climbers, there's bushes, rocks, topiary, planters. Let's go with bushes. Do we have any cattails? Yellow floor bush. Oh, we get lily pads. Sitting on the surface as it should. Tulips, sunflowers, lupines. I don't see... I don't see... Oh, that's sitting horizontal, even on a sloped ground. I don't see any cattails, unfortunately. You need the Planet Coaster Adventure Pack? Oh, so it's showing it. It's like dangling it in my face saying, Oh, sorry, you need to download that. You need to buy it. Fine! Maybe I'll buy it! I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure something out. Okay. 
Some beautiful petunias. Beautiful and petunia don't sound like they belong together because I'm so accustomed to uh, Harry Potter and Aunt Petunia being so hard to deal with. Okay, let's go back to trees. Let's get some cute birch trees in autumn colors. Variety everywhere. I love the variety of... Whoops. I love the variety of trees. Let's get a few green oak trees, like they missed the memo that it was fall or something. Right on the edge of the path. Look at that. Then some more maples. Yeah, I'm digging this. This is turning out brilliant. Oh yeah, and here's all the recent stuff I used. I think we should have some kind of a picnic area over here. So if I delete this tree and this tree, let's grab the path. And let's see, sandstone path with wooden trim, flagstone, uh, let's see, rustic gravel, Colorful brick. Let's do the colorful brick. Set the width wider. Okay, delete that. Let's go the maximum width, actually. What is happening? Okay, close this. Close this. So now we have this little... Uh, pop off. Now if I go to scenery and go to recents, I think I saw, here it is. We have a picnic bench. Does this have to not be in a path? Why can't I put it here? Does it have to be on perfectly level ground? Why is it letting me place it there but not there? Oh, here we go. Picnic bench and the garbage can. Park bench. People kind of uh, enjoy the pond. Yeah, this is looking brilliant. So many fine controls and details. So, here we are. This is my first attempt playing Planet Coaster in sandbox mode. So here's my little humble offering as a beginner playing this game. Now, if you think it looks nice for a beginner, that's because I have background with Roller Coaster Tycoon 1, 2, and 3. So that's why I kind of just uh, started building roller coasters without much of a hitch, except for this one. This one was a challenge. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, here it is. Here's my offering for my first ever sandbox park in roller coaster, or not roller coaster tycoon, in Planet Coaster 1. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like the video, subscribe, share any feedback or suggestions or help in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Hello, bird. And I'll see you in the next video. So, so long, everyone.